If you want to draw basic shapes, then Inkscape is really the place to do it. This is exactly what this program was designed for. And the rectangle is probably the easiest place to start. So you just click the tool over here. And very simply, you just click and drag, as you might expect. Just a few other things you might want to know about. If you want to get a perfect square, then hold down the control key and then click and drag. And as long as you keep your drag in more or less the dimensions of a square, then Inkscape will make sure that the width and height are exactly the same. If you kind of do a really wacky drag, then you'll still get a thin rectangle. But as long as you keep it more or less a square, then when I let go, you'll see that the width and height are both exactly the same. Once you have a rectangle in place or a square, you can actually choose if you want to have these corners be perfectly angular corners, or you can make them rounded. So we have here this Rx and Ry option. Rx makes the rounded corners along the x-axis and Ry along the y. That doesn't really matter. Just know that if you just use one of them, it's going to work fine. So if you just slowly start increasing this value, you'll see this little dot is going to start moving over to the left. And the same kind of thing is happening on all these corners. And so you get this nice rounded corner effect. And you could then do the same thing with the Y as well. So I can begin to increase the Y. And you can get a nice rounded corner effect like that. If you want your corners to be perfectly rounded, then you want these two values to be the same. So we could just type here 50 and 50. And there you see we get these nice rounded corners. Just one other thing you want to be aware of is if you're going to scale something like a rounded rectangle, you really want to be aware of these effect buttons. So by default, these are actually all on. And what these say is affect the width of the stroke. And here we have the radii of the rounded corners. If this is on, then I'm just going to get rid of this. When we scale this rectangle, these rounded corners are also going to scale in proportion. So if I hold the control key and just drag, you see here that the stroke is also increasing in width, and the size of this rounded area is also increasing, so it's got the same proportions, it's just bigger. If I undo that, and then turn off this option, if I now can hit the control key and drag, What you notice when you let go of the mouse is that the rounded corners have actually stayed the same size that they were when this was a really little rectangle, and so you get a much different effect. So that's just something to watch out for. The same can be said for the stroke width.